Hi there lovely people, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing a couple of videos for you. Uh, one is a comparison video, other one's gonna be a list of top 10 Muglers. I'm just redoing it like every year I do that. But today in the first episode, let's look at two fragrances which are very similar. One is a affordable version of the other. Uh, as you can see, Tom Ford versus Mercedes-Benz, uh, two perfumes. Both are designer house, but uh, Tom Ford basically it's, as you guys know, it's more upper class house, a more uh, niche style house, which uh, comes the hefty price tag uh, but you know mercedes-benz has some solid fragrances but recently or not recently maybe a couple of years back uh, or something like that they came out with this perfume right here it's called mercedes-benz select night okay so this one supposedly it's very similar to tom ford noir extremes so we'll be putting them against each other uh, and i'll let you know uh, detail in detail every single aspect of this perfumes which one you should look at if mercedes actually can replace the tom ford or something like that okay so i don't have the boxes anymore with me uh, because it's been a while i throw away the box after a while i think i have in mercedes somewhere there but i don't have the tom ford box anymore uh, but check out my full-on reviews i have covered them individually uh, let's start from uh, price uh, bottle sizes and uh, bottle and all that okay so as you can see first of all okay both of them are sort of like flankers to uh, two very popular other perfumes like this one is part of tom ford noir line okay i have tom ford noir the edp there's also edt and they have many other anthracite no anthracite well, many more you know noir uh, I, I don't remember so many of them but there are many out there so this is a flanker and this is a flanker to mercedes-benz select okay that that original one was a clone of aventus this one right here the price on this let's start from tom ford because this is the originator uh, this has a very nice looking bottle a uh, very standard looking bottle but the caps are like golden so golden and black uh, combination at the side you'll find t in this side you'll find f tom ford and you'll find tf up there and base you'll find the sticker and all that so this one i have i think sort of like older batch which gave me like excellent longevity i'll talk about that so this fragrance right now in market is going for around bangladesh price is going for around 130 sorry 140 to 150 dollars when i got it at first it was like 120 okay so the price have gone up a little bit and i believe uh, people are asking for a bit more money on this so this one comes in multiple bottle sizes 50 100 i don't know if there's 30 ml but you can find smaller bottle and this is the big size bottle okay and uh, other side this one is a uh, mercedes-benz select night this fragrance it comes with really nice packaging i really love this bottle actually this bottle is nicer than the tom ford one if you ask me uh, looks really nice really really nice it's edp concentration the dark bottle you know opaque and most beautiful part is this uh, emblem of uh, mercedes benz which mercedes benz which is like uh, you know it's raised okay so you can feel it uh, so if you really ask me if, if you do not look at the house and you know if you do not look at the um, like brand name i would say mercedes benz has much better uh, bottle design so this one i bought it's not really cheap to be honest i think it was around 60 dollars or something like 50 something so some somewhere between 55 to 60 in bangladesh uh, but it's now currently not really available um, basically uh, this is uh, like less than half the price of tom ford so 100 versus 100 mil i think the tom ford is more expensive and that mercedes-benz is more available so bottle design mercedes-benz wins okay so now talking about longevity and stuff uh, projection the this thing is a bit tricky uh, why is it tricky because the bottle that i have here i'll tell you this has to be a fair comparison okay nowadays the newer batches of tom ford noir extreme many people are telling me it does not last on them this fragrance what i don't have, know what batch this was like in if i can read out where is the batch mentioned I, I don't know but this one i got like long time back when i did the review some few years back this fragrance even if i take a shower it doesn't want to leave my skin okay so longevity it's fantastic it's fantastic compared to that mercedes-benz lacks about like two three hours compared to this i got like always got like seven to eight hours from more extreme mercedes-benz like gave me like four to five but you have to go heavy on the spray okay so longevity and projection this one wins tom ford wins uh, smell <clears throat> okay so since this is a inspiration of this uh, like uh, this is inspired by this so let me tell you about noir extreme if you do not know by now this is known as the kulfi smell in the fragrance committee which is the indian dessert uh, indian desserts are like uh, really nice and like uh, they have different different kind of uh, jalebi you know if you really had indian cuisine and coarse meals and stuff you will always see if you go to indian shops they will have a lot of sweets like laddus this and that uh, uh, they are they are known for you know like our culture is known for sweets so basically that kulfi comes with that uh, cardamom note which uh, also people compare this 
I compared this DNA with lanuidolone, and I said this is a more better version. It's a better version of lanuidolone. Creamy, spicy, mysterious, and uh, really nice. I mean, my bottle is almost nearing to finish. I didn't buy a backup bottle. I'll tell you why. When I smell it, it's really, really beautiful. You know, it's mysterious, it's sweet, it's gourmand. And this is loved by many, many people. You know, this fragrance is loved by so many people. Uh, it's uh, like Tom Ford's Black Orchid is one other one that people really like. But this perfume, it's really um, sweet, nighttime, colder nights. It works really fantastic. It's gourmandish, it's sweet, sexy, um, it's long lasting. Uh, so, Tom Ford Noir Extreme basically, it's very sexy fragrance for. I would say cooler nights out, okay? So compared to that, if you ask me, how did Mercedes-Benz Select Night do? This one got some hype from the community. Uh, let me smell this once again. Uh, yeah, let me spray this a little bit on my hand just to remind myself I haven't worn this for since last winter, I think. Sprayers are good, really, really good sprayers. Uh, let's spray some on my other side of the hand, okay? So these fragrance, this fragrance, how does it smell? It opens up. It doesn't open up that much similar to Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Like this is more, I would say, transparent version of this one because this one, it feels lighter compared to this. This is more creamy. So when you smell this, it does have nice little sweet citrusy opening. It's a little bit spicy. Perhaps it's more playful citrusy version of this one. It feels more upgraded, uh, more modern version, more wearable. And you can go, let's say, in uh, this one, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, I always go three sprays. This one, you have to go five to six. So that will do like similar sort of performance but after a uh, couple of hours i think tom for noir extreme it will be more prominent this one would be uh, somewhere like three feet around you right so uh, the smell it's really nice and the comparison comes on the dry down in my humble opinion it smells very very uh, similar to tom for noir extreme that's where i think there's an excellent value um, in my humble opinion both are really great fragrance for their prices if you can find this somewhere sound the part of the world people are saying this is a bit rare to find if you find it somewhere give it a try i think it's battle backup bottle worthy if you have nowadays you know if you talk about the pricing i think almost you can get three bottles of this of 100 ml for the price of one so ultimately you know it comes down to your personal preference but if you ask me which is a better scent i'll say tom for noir extreme this is hands down much more richer i cannot lie to you uh, this is a better fragrance uh, is it worth the price tag? Perhaps people can debate that. But Tom Ford is an established house, right? He worked his way up and he worked for many companies, okay? And he did uh, some, you know, ex under his creativity, you know, like his creative directorship, a lot of fragrance houses did a lot of great releases, right? Uh, namely YSL M7. I think their fragrance like Gucci Purum 1, Pu Gucci Purum 2 at that time, you know? So Tom Ford definitely has talent. So if you're asking for, uh, high price tag for his talent and you know he is worth you know there's no <laughs> argument but mercedes Benz select you know why i'm praising this why i'm even comparing them because from a car manufacturing company which do not offer you know like being frank they do not offer so many fragrances that are outstanding like let's say bentley for many intense this one um, ferrari some of the bright neroli there are like hardly that many fragrances which stand out in the designer world. But this fragrance definitely did. You know, even the select one, I really like it as a clone of uh, Aventus. Really fresh, clean, up class, nice bottles. Some of the new bottles are so beautiful, luxurious. Mercedes-Benz Select, I think like uh, night, this one is an excellent perfume. But uh, in the end, you know, which one should you pick? If your money is not an issue, I would say still go for this. Or if you want a more uh, appropriate budget, appropriate version, you just want to get one bottle but don't want to break your bank, go with this one. But ultimately, this one will come off as a champion. But the last uh, point I will raise is that I'll have a wild card entry, okay? Which is better than both of these, okay? And that's still not a budget option or cost option, but I will say this one is the reason. Tom Ford Noir Femme. Uh, Noir, yeah, I think it's called Noir Femme, not Extreme, yeah. This fragrance, when I bought it, I heard a lot of good things about it. That this is uh, more, this is more like beast mode version of this. I would not say beast mode, but definitely lasts longer than Noir Extreme on me. This one, the Femme. And being a women's perfume, you know, Tom Ford Black Orchid is women's perfume. I wear it with a lot of confidence. This is more a uh, sticky, more uh, thick version of this one. Okay. And ultimately, this is the best fragrance out of this, this lot. Okay. Uh, the, yes, the price is high on this. Tom Ford Noir Femme, it's definitely not cheap. But I would pick this over the other two. This one is just mesmerizing. The Kulfi note, it's there, but I think cardamom is not as pronounced. Let me spray a little bit. This one, I just love to wear it. Like, let's say when I want to go out, you know, like a bit colder night, you know, if it's raining and all that, you know, like a bit 
uh, yes this definitely is beautiful this is just stunning okay so uh, which one is an ultimate choice for you if you ask me to pick one i would say money is not an issue go with either one of these you will not lose much money but is it redundant to have both again you know it's up to personal preference but i don't feel like so because this one gives me a lot more cool feel this one gives me a lot more waxy a uh, chocolatey vibe it's it's more seductive more uh, waxy i just that's the word that comes to my mind but this definitely it's mind blowing but for the value this is something you should look at mercy benz select night it's definitely a more value for your bang for your buck but best uh, out of all this thing is here my um, you know grade would be number one is tom for noir femme number two is extreme number three is select night so thank you very much for watching hopefully that was helpful and do let me know if you tried all these three which one is your favorite have a nice day i'll see you soon bye bye